well. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's kind of different from what I've been doing lately. I feel like I have not reviewed makeup in a long time. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bella Terra Mineral Makeup Essentials Kit. I was contacted by the company a few months back and they asked me if I wanted to do a review and test everything out and then if I liked it to share it with you guys. I have been using this stuff for the past month of August, like every single day. It's what I've been wearing in college. So before I made this review, I made sure that I was an expert in the area of Bella Terra Mineral Makeup. I guess. You could call it that. Anyways, I'm going to be finally showing you guys the review because I have fallen in love with these products. I have really sensitive skin. If you guys know me, you probably know that already. I get skin allergies. My just everything is really sensitive. Um, and then their products are 100% natural. It's cruelty free, which is something that I absolutely loved. And it provides sun protection. And I am really passionate about sun protection as well. So right off the bat, it was something that caught my attention, but I had to try it out before I actually told you guys how it goes. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So if you do not know a lot about mineral makeup or if you're just starting out with makeup in general with foundation and all that stuff, I definitely recommend that you watch this video because it's a really easy thing to deal with. Mineral makeup, in my opinion, is way easier to deal with than like normal liquid foundations. You'll see why. So if you're interested, make sure you keep watching. So the first thing you need to do with mineral makeup is moisturize your face. Since this is not a liquid that you're going to be putting on your face, you need to moisturize to make sure that it sticks. If it's during the day, make sure to choose one with SPF protection. Once you've moisturized, make sure you let that set before going in with your primer. Once again, this works as like a barrier of stickiness so that your mineral makeup can stick. So I'm just going to apply some primer on top of my moisturizer. The kind of primer you want to use really depends on your skin type. If you have really oily skin, you're going to want to look for a primer that's good for oily skin types. If you have dry skin, you should look for something that moisturizes, etc. You get the point. Okay, so once your face is primed, you are ready for your makeup. Before I start working on this, I'm just going to show you guys what's included in the essentials kit. It basically includes the essentials, exactly that, everything you need for a full face of mineral makeup. So the first thing in here, or first things in here, are three brushes. You get the foundation brush, you also get a blush brush, you get a eyeshadow brush, and then you get your foundation. I got the kit in the color light and my foundation is in the color latte. You also get a mineral brush, brush, a mineral blush. And mine is in the color Ambrosial Crush. Then in here I also have a mineral bronzer and this is in the color Sensual. Oh. Then last but not least in here you get your eye products. It includes an eye primer and this is, it kind of looks like a concealer. This is just to prime your eyes and make sure your mineral eyeshadow will stick. Then finally you get two mineral shimmers and these are basically their eyeshadows. I have one in the color seashell and another one in the color sand. The color seashell is a little bit darker, it's like a coppery bronze. And then the color sand is a really pretty champagne that's perfect for highlight. And then it also includes a really pretty pink makeup bag to keep it all in. These kits come for different skin colors. Each kit has like a blush, a bronzer, and eyeshadows tailored to match your skin tone. So that is something that I found really cool as well. Okay, so let's just do this. Once your moisturizer and your primer have set, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our foundation. If you have like a lot of blemishes or heavy duty like under eye circles that you wanna cover, you may want to apply a little bit of your favorite concealer. I'm gonna apply a little bit under my eyes before I go in with the makeup just to brighten up my face. You don't need a lot of concealer because the foundation is going to give you coverage as well. What you're going to want to do with mineral foundations, you're going to want to tap a little bit onto the lid. And I'm just going to pick up my foundation brush and I'm going to swirl it on here, making sure to distribute all that foundation evenly. I'm just going to tap off the excess. I'm just going to start off in the middle of my face and blend out. You're going to start to see that even though it seems like you're not putting a lot of product on your face, this does a really good job at evening out the like uneven color patches and covering up any blemishes. And trust me, I know that you may be tempted to dip this brush in a billion times and pick up a lot of product, but you don't need to do that because a little goes a long way. But you can automatically tell that it starts to blur out your imperfections. That is it for foundation. One of my favorite things is how glowy the skin looks with mineral foundation. Like it's like 
dissolve down with liquid foundation and then powder on top. That's one of my favorite things about this stuff. Once I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to move on with my blush. And I'm just going to use the same technique that I used with my foundation. Tap some onto the lid and then use your blush brush and swirl that all up. Tap off the excess and then swipe it gently onto the apples of your cheek. Sometimes for me at least it's hard to like make sure that your blush and your bronzer and your eyeshadows go together and then your lip gloss on top of that. So these kits are like color coordinated so everything goes well together. Now that I'm done with my blush, I'm going to go on with my bronzer. I'm going to use a little bit to contour and to add a little bit of color on my forehead, nose, and chin where the sun would naturally hit. You can like automatically see how glowing you look with this. It's okay to want to cover up your blemishes and look kind of airbrushed, but I feel like it's not okay to take away that natural glow that you have without a bunch of stuff piled up on your face. And then this does the job of covering up, but it doesn't take away that glow, and that is my number one favorite thing about Bella Terra. Overall, it's the fact that it makes you look so glowy. Now that your face is done, we're gonna move on to eyes. The first thing you wanna do is take the primer and use your ring finger to spread it all over your eyelid. This is just going to ensure that since the eyeshadows are a loose pigment, it's gonna stick on and not go anywhere. We don't want it to roll down our cheeks. That's not cool. And I really like that this has a little bit of color to it because it definitely evens out the uneven veins and discoloration and whatever you may have on your eyelid. I would walk out the door right now, just like this, honestly. If you don't want like a lot of drama on your eyes, you can definitely just stop there and walk out the door right now. Okay, so once you're done with the eye primer, if you want to apply some more drama to your eyes, we're gonna go in with our shimmers. So first one I'm gonna grab is in the color Sand, it's the lightest color. It's a really pretty champagne. So I'm just gonna grab my eyeshadow brush and once again, I'm gonna pick up from the lid and I'm going to dust this all over my eyelid and into my inner corner. So I just applied two coats of my mascara to make my eyes pop. This is what the final product looks like. One of my favorite things about the look is that the colors are so natural. It's really versatile, so you can use it for school or work or college, and it won't look like it's like you're trying too hard because it looks so natural. So now all that's left to say is my final opinion on the product. Like I said, I've been using it for the past month of August. I definitely recommend it to people that have the same problem that I do with their skin, that it breaks out in rashes and that your skin is really sensitive if you have sensitive skin. This is a really good alternative for you because it's natural. I also recommend it to people that are kind of starting out with makeup because it's so easy to work with and it's hard to make it look cakey. So that's something that's always really good for beginners. If you have really dry skin, I also recommend it, but only if you take the time to moisturize and to prime your skin before you do it. If you have very oily skin, then you may want to invest in like a oil absorbing or oil controlling primer because I feel like it doesn't have the staying power of a liquid foundation for obvious reasons. I mean a liquid foundation is going to stick on your skin and you're going to set it with powder so it's going to last for a long time if you're going to be sweating and like jumping around all over the place. The only thing I have to say about this is that it doesn't last as long as a liquid foundation so you have to be more careful with it. I love the way the finish it gives. I prefer this finish to the finish that a liquid foundation gives you. You can see how luminous it makes your skin and that would be my favorite thing about it. If I had to choose one favorite thing about this mineral makeup is the fact that it makes you look so glowing. If someone sees me in the street right now, they'd probably think that I wasn't wearing any face makeup, like any foundation, because you really can't see that cakey foundation look that foundation usually gives. I will definitely include this in my daily makeup routine. I definitely will use liquid foundation for like more formal events and for events that I need to make sure that my my makeup stays on for a long amount of time but I will include this in my makeup routine because it's good for a daily look and for a natural like a really really natural look for school and work so that is basically all I have to say about Bella Terra and about this mineral makeup. If you guys are interested in trying this out, Bella Terra has given me the opportunity to share with you guys a really, really good offer. This kit that I used is normally worth $179. So for a limited time, they are allowing me to offer you the entire kit at a 65% discount rate, which would be for $62.65. So for $63, you'd be getting everything that I just used in this tutorial. And in my opinion, that is totally worth it. It's way under the price of what you would be paying if you got everything individually so if you're looking for a good new face routine a good foundation good blush 
and a few extra products that you might want to try out. This is something that you definitely should take into consideration. I will have a link down below if you're interested in checking that out. So if you have any questions or comments that you want to leave me, go ahead and leave those down below as always. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful in any way, if you enjoyed the look that I created, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up down below so I know that you did. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye. Like the hole in the sky.